Hi guys, so I thought it was about time I made another feeding video. This time we've got some brown crickets rather than the black ones that I usually get. And they'll be being fed to the medium size to large tees. And we've got some small crickets for the slings like usual. And then we've also got some beetle larvae which I have already separated out into this container just to make them a lot easier to, to grab when I'm going to feed one of the larger spiders. Okay, so the first spider we're going to feed is one of my Theraphosostermi juveniles. You can see it just down in its hide there. Let's see if it wants one of these beetle larvae. Looks like it does. Yep. Yeah. And it's grabbed it. Next up, we have one of my most aggressive feeders, and that's my Grammar Stola earringi. Let's see if it's hungry today. Yep, yeah. pounced on it, and got the head. There's no coming back from that. <laughs> okay, so the next tarantula we're going to feed. Is one of my blackest spiders. That's my Pamphibetius antinus, the Privian steely blue. Usually tempt her out, so uh, let's see if she'll do that again today for us. Because she just like to stay in a hide most most of the time. But as you can see, usually pretty happy to come out for the camera. Let's see if she's hungry. Yep. Yeah. Awesome takedown, but straight back into the hide, so bit of a brief shot there, but still pretty cool. Anyway, let's leave her to enjoy a meal and to go on to the next one. Next up for a beetle lava is one of my gorgeous adult female green bottle blues. Incredibly colourful species. Let's see if she wants one. Yeah, it looks like she does. Took it down. Should be a very good sized meal for her. I am actually hoping to get her into pre-melt soon because I will have some more males maturing this year which means more breeding attempts and hopefully this year we'll get a successful sack. Next up we have my red spotted assassin bugs. Still doing well, and usually like to feed on camera, so let's get a couple of crickets and see if they'll take them down. Okay, here goes the first one. Whoa, tried to catch it, but missed. See the crickets over here. Let's try that again. Missed it again. Let's just see if we get the cricket to move for us. Yep, got it. Finally. <laughs> got there in the end. There goes number two. Yep, grabbed it. And just look at that cute little face. <laughs> okay then guys, let's go feed some more teas. Next up we have one of the cutest spiders currently in my collection. And that is my Theraphosa blondie spiderling. Got a decent sized cricket for it. So uh, let's see if it will take it down. Whoa, pound straight onto it. And yeah, it's not hard to see why I love this species. Awesome feeders. And as you can see, incredibly cute at this size. This is as small as they get. Second in star spiderling. Around an inch in leg span. And in a couple of years, that tiny spiderling will look something like this. This is almost a three-year-old female. I did buy her as a spiderling back in 2011. 
and almost three years later she's a good seven inches in leg span and an incredible looking spider. Anyway, let's see if she wants one of these brown crickets. Yep, pounced on it. You can see they have a lot more hairs on the legs compared to the Sturmy. But apart from that, they are pretty similar. Okay, so next up, we're going to feed my Brachypelma abopelosum, the Honduran curly hair. This is Danielle, about a four inch female, and she's in a hide at the moment, but hopefully, once I drop this cricket in, she will come rushing out. She's interested, as you can clearly see might even be five inches actually, looks a bit bigger than I remember. Okay, so I've recaptured the cricket. Hopefully this time she will take it down. Yeah, whoa, incredible takedown. These are awesome feeders and make a great choice for a new starter into the hobby because they are very easy to care for, look great and as you've just seen, do some awesome takedowns. Okay, so next we're going to feed my adult female king baboon. But before I do, just a quick update on the breeding project. The male did spend another night with the female, that you can see just there, the entrance to a hide. And uh, all seemed to go well. Not sure if they mated or not overnight, but hopefully they did. But then the third time I tried to pair them, the next morning I found the male had been cannibalised by the female, so fingers crossed they did mate at some point and she will make an exec later this year. But yeah, now only time will tell, so just be a matter of waiting now. Anyway, what we're going to try and do today is try and tempt her out a bit from a hide using the tickle method. Okay, so she hasn't come out. So let's just drop a cricket down there and see if she'll grab it. Yep, yeah, I think she got it. Okay, so because she's so big, I'm going to drop at least another one or two down there. Because they are quite small prey for the size of the spider. Oh yeah, definitely grab that one. Okay, well we're now filming her in a hide through the side of the enclosure and looks like she has grabbed all the crickets because I can't see any running around down there and she has actually started to produce silk as well which is a good sign that she's grabbed all the prey there she goes so now it's just a matter of waiting to see if that abdomen gets bigger over the next few months and if it does then hopefully that means she'll make an egg sack and I'll get some spiderlings. And the last spider we're going to feed is Charlotte, my huge Theraphosa Sturmy, the Burgundy Goliath. Pretty recently molted, so her colours are pretty fresh. And I'm going to get her a beetle larvae now because she's starting to climb out the enclosure. Maybe she's going to help herself, I'm not sure. Alright then, let's grab her one before she makes an escape. Okay, well she's not really playing ball today. As you can see she's on the edge of her enclosure and it is pretty incredible just how big she is. Absolutely massive spider and it's almost like she's looking straight into the camera there. So it's a pretty cool shot. Anyway, we're supposed to be making a feeding video so let's try and get her to eat one of these uh, beautiful larvae. Well, she's finally decided to go back into her enclosure. So now I can drop a food item in front of her and hopefully she'll take it down for us. Of course, I've got the biggest one I could find. Dropped it in and she took it down. <laughs> Incredible power she's got in those fangs. And as you can see, within seconds, it's completely destroyed. Okay guys, well that's about it for this video, hope you've enjoyed watching, 
had some pretty cool takedowns as well as a few different behaviours like this monster deciding to go on a bit of a walkabout not happened before but I guess there's a first time for everything so yeah thanks for watching and I shall see you again soon